Uh, just about every city and county leader from across the coastal bend packed into a room for a Council of Governments meeting today. At stake, $180 million from the General Land Office that's to be divided up among the 11 county area. But as it turns out, that meeting came to an end even before it had much of a chance to begin. Our Bill Churchwell was there to see it, and he joins us now to explain in tonight's top story at 10. Bill? Hey there, yeah, leaders were ready to battle for their slice of the pie, but it was something that was put on pause. The reason? A technicality over whether or not leaders were properly given the required 72-hour notice ahead of that meeting. When millions in free money is up for grabs, you can expect to get the attention of local politicians. We're here to serve a region. It's part of our mission. Water knows no boundaries. That is why the dollars that are given to us are so important. U.S. County Judge Robert Canales says the county stands to gain $31 million in funding, while the city of Corpus Christi, about half that amount. The city of Corpus Christi has objected to the methodology, and uh, I think this is uh, why you see a a packed room. It's money that local leaders did not have to apply for that will go to communities affected by 2017's Hurricane Harvey, specifically to be used for protection against future disasters, projects like flood control. It could be shoreline protection, uh, everything from uh, wastewater treatment facilities, um, you know, your average drainage project. The Council of Governments appointed by the General Land Office to figure out how to distribute that funding. 25, 25 entities and that would be cities and counties uh, within the COG region. Teaming up with the Hard Research Institute at Texas A&M Corpus Christi to come up with ways on how to divide the money. You cannot argue with data and so because we use very specific data points and we weighted them like for population we weighted at 15 percent. We use things like low to moderate income. But that doesn't come without argument over how that 180 million dollars should be distributed. Each entity or each agency obviously is all fighting for dollars. Corpus Christi City Council Member Roland Barrera's concerns centered around the district he represents, District 3. There was a calculation for low to moderate income, and my district has some of the poorest in the area, of which we actually have uh, drainage problems in the, uh, in the, in the, in the western area of the, of the city. And so, uh, but however, our, our, uh, the demographic was calculated based on the average of the entire city. So therefore, that brought the average up for me because you include Ocean Drive and Padre Island. However, even before it could be disputed, concern over whether leaders were given proper notice of the meeting itself, that was raised by Portland Mayor Kathy Scuro. In order to make sure that everybody has a voice at the table, it's important for us to have proper notice to these meetings, and that was my point of order today. Instead of arguing over the point, a motion was made to come back to the table next week. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.